Jennifer Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be doing something fun. And I know that short videos are really cool, but today we're going to actually go through the entire process of how to get keywords that will help you rank in Etsy SEO for two different kinds of jewelry. And uh, so I just want to let you know where I got the girls uh, shops that I used, women's shops that I used in for this video. In my group, Awesome Etsy eBay, I put out a call and asking the girls if they would mind if I use their shop. So they have said graciously that I can. So we're not giving away any secrets here. Let's get going. The first thing that we're going to look at doing is Angel Alchemy. That's her shop name. And let's see what her name is so we can talk to her. It is Amanda, and I've worked with Amanda before, um, but she's doing, I'm going to move myself over here for a little bit. Sorry, move, move myself around. Okay, she's doing what's called stackable rings, stacking rings. So she's saying this is a tourmaline stacking ring set. And the way that you rank in, um, I'm going to take off my bracelets because they're kind of banging against each other. That would get annoying after a while because we got to have fingers going. So... The way that you rank one of your products in Etsy is to have keywords that people are looking for. Now, what is the very first keyword that we're going to say that this is? It's a ring, right? So if you rank number one for ring in Etsy, it's kind of funny. You may not get as much traffic or as sales as you would if you rank for things that are way closer or down the buying cycle within Etsy. So if somebody's just searching for a ring, that means that they have no idea what they want. They don't know silver. They don't know gold. Okay, so silver is another one we can use because we see it's silver. They don't know silver. They don't know gold. They don't know, do they want a stone? Do they want a, um, you know, and then we get more into the style of it, so stacking ring, whatever it is in this particular stone. But if somebody searches stacking tourmaline ring, they know what they're looking for. Now they're just picking which of the styles of the available offerings they want to pick, right? So I would like to rank for that, but we're going to try to rank for as many different things as we can in this process. And I have this little notepad over here that I will pull off and on as I collect keywords. Because what we're going to do is we're going to collect keywords that we could possibly use in this listing, and then we are going to put them in the right amount here. And I'll show you also how to do the tags, because the tags matter too. Um, how to put them in the tags so that you have the best chance of rank, of rank, of rank, of rank. Okay. It's a... Let's give, 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 give formaline is functionally what only what only what only sorry about that copy so in our thing we can start this with tourmaline okay excellent we got that yay and i'm sorry it's going a little bit slow because let me see if i can close some more stuff down here it's going a little bit slow because i have like a gajillion um tabs open for you and then I'm running video software. <laughs> so we're going to say tour, tourmaline, and then it's a ring, right? But I don't want to just jump into ring. It is a kind of ring. So the next thing that I do is I go to stack. Do we see ring at all? Okay, stackable rings gets 22,000, 22,200 searches a month. And is in the, you start typing it and it comes up in Google. Now, the reason why I have these, how many searches are happening per month is I'm using an extension in Chrome called Keywords Everywhere Keyword Tool. And I will put a link to this down below, but it's amazing. It really helps your, um, like, before we would have had to gone into the keyword planner and then we would have had to look things up and we would have had the whole way through where this, it just shows up. It's amazing. Okay, so now we know that stackable 
rings is what they're actually um, recommending to us, right? So we see stack, stackable rings is our first one. So ring, stackable ring. Awesome. And is it stackable rings or stackable rings? It's rings with an S. Now, I hear from everybody that uh, uh, plurals don't matter. You don't need to worry about it. And I have done other videos where I show that absolutely it matters a little bit. I'm going for, we want to help Amanda get the best kind of result for this ring. So we are going with stackable rings. So it is a tourmaline stackable rings and it is a set now that i just know from my own experience that if you have set in there there are a lot of people that do searches um if you're selling a bunch of disparate things you would say lot this is actually a set they're all the same right they're very pretty all in a set and she's they're getting three of them so they're getting stacking ring set see she has it right here and she has it there too but she's saying it's a stacking ring let's go look and see how many searches per month stacking rings get okay so stacking rings get twelve thousand searches a month so we don't want to get rid of it we want to keep it in there but i don't want to use it as my very first one and this is exciting you may not think about this a lot but what happens is that google does send traffic to Etsy right so if we're just within Etsy then we need to do certain things but if we want to also rank for Google we want to do other similar things but just a little bit different so I want to make sure that for Google which takes the first 72 characters I think that's all they really look at and we get how many we get like a bajillion 130 or something but I want to make sure I front load that listing title with the things that um people would look for on google okay the other thing that i don't see in this so there's jewelry yay jewelry um the other thing i don't see and i'm sure it's because she has it as one of her tags or her attributes excuse me in etsy that she doesn't have handmade in um in this title and this is a hand hammered like she made this ring right um handmade baguette shaped she's designing sourcing stones yeah i mean like this is a handmade item so i want to get handmade jewelry up here up front handmade jewelry in case somebody is searching google for handmade jewelry stackable rings something like that we saw that stackable rings is like crazy um fancy in uh google so that to me feels like it's super important now another thing we can do in google before we move on is we can say stacking oh we want stackable we're not getting rid of it we're going to put it later but i want to always work with the highest um grossing so now we have things that happen with stackable rings so we have gold it's not a gold Stackable ring set, there we go, rose gold, white gold, silver. Okay, so is this white gold or silver? This is silver, sterling silver, okay. So now we have sterling silver. That's, um, we're gonna keep that over here just for our own little benefit. So let's keep going. Um, gold, silver, sterling silver display, okay. So we're, we're just going to go and hit enter, and that's going to give us the, um, the results. So stackable ring. Oh, we want rings. Okay, so see, this is where it does get different. There's about a million 70,000. Stackable rings is about a million 90,000. So there's a 20,000 item difference somewhere in there, right? Okay, so then we're going to come all the way to the bottom. Do, do, do. And then we can see, so now we have uh, silver stackable rings. Okay, so that's that's a Google. So I'll just put here, Google, silver stack, uh, stackable rings. Um, 
stackable rings birthstone. Now, somebody's birthstone is tourmaline. And Google doesn't care if I can spell. Uh, birthstone, jewelry, precious jewelry, October birthstones. Okay, tourmaline. Okay, so it's an October birthstone. So we want to have that in there because that's going to be an important factor if somebody's looking for a gift for somebody who has um, an October birthstone. Um, I really only knew about opals, so that's interesting. It's my birthday month. Okay, so October birthstone, look at her. She had it in here. Now, while we're here looking at what Amanda's already done, she has ring first. So we have stacking ring where we're going to change that to tourmaline stackable rings set, which is not as grammatically correct, but I want it for Google. Um, she does have some other, their stackable rings. So she's kind of flipping hers with what I'm doing, um, which is fine. That's, I mean, I'm sure it's not changing her life, but... At, at some point with jewelry and SEO, it is super important um, because the competition is so fierce. I have never seen something like the competition you guys have in your, um, in your industry, right? It's really a big deal. Okay, so what other kinds of things do we see? Silver stackable rings, white gold stackable rings, Pandora. We cannot use Pandora because that is a... Um, copyrighted trademark term and they defend it so if you're doing jewelry don't go there okay so I feel like we've done like the heavy lifting um, so we could let's try set and see if anything else comes up um, sterling silver stackable ring set yep Ariella Michael Kors fashion rings fashion rings to me sounds like costume jewelry and I don't really want, um, I don't really want to go there, but it's in the searches. So maybe we'll put it down in our tags, right? Because we're going to have some extra, we have lots of extra room in our tags. So we, we may put that in just a little tag at the bottom. Okay. Now, I did a search on uh, Pinterest for rings. So we're going to do that search again. Refresh, refresh. Okay. Now, what's happening here is these are in order, relatively, of how Pinterest users are searching. And because Pinterest is used primarily by women who buy jewelry, who are in the target demographic of the people who we want to be looking at our listing, we want to see what they say. So, Boho is there. We saw that Amanda had it, so we're going to have to get Boho in there. Um, boho is very cool. Now, this is a neat way to do it. You could go to Boho, Rings Boho. Uh, simple, it is not simple. Gypsy, let's see what gypsy rings look like. I don't think that's what we have. Uh, I don't know. I got a, I got a tiny feeling of gypsy, so we're going to put gypsy down here. I don't mind gypsy. Okay, but we're going to go back. Um, and does Amanda have gypsy? Amanda's really good at this. Ha, we got one that she didn't. Okay, so silver. So it is rings, boho, silver. And I always start at the left and I go over until I find the next thing that is correct. Okay, so now we have hippie. Let's see what hippie looks like. I don't think it's hippie. Now, hippie, I think more um, decorative, scrolly, turquoise-y. Um, so, hippie and bohemian, I feel like, go together. But if that's because we have that boho in there. And that's, that's, I don't love that. So, let's do, let's do ring silver. Where's our ring silver? Okay, so there's other ones I love here. So, we're not going to just pass over these. Um, fa there's fashion. There's unique. I want unique because those are unique. And people do search for unique. I know that because they do it in my, um, in my, it's a gemstone. Stackable. There we go. There's our ring. Stackable. Okay. 
stackable for each child. That's interesting. Now you could do a custom, I don't love personalized custom orders, but this way you're just actually doing, um, you're mixing like the months, pick three months, tell me in the notes, whatever. Um, okay, so Boho Sterling, Sterling, we got Sterling Silver already in there, Sterling Silver, but uh, we may come back to that. Wedding Fin, Pandora Birthstone, Birthstone we have, Personalized How to Wear Cheap, <laughs> it's not where we're going, Etsy, nice, we got that Gemstone Simple, Vintage Casual Sets, Sets. We don't have the plural sets. Okay. So I love where we're going here. Okay, so stackable rings. Let's see what we were at at the front. Stackable rings. Eek. We had sterling in here. Sterling. Let's see what happens. And the reason why I really want to kind of go down a rabbit trail that's a little bit higher priced is I don't really want to rank for a low-cost keyword because her item isn't a low-cost item. Um, okay, so fine silver stacking rings. Okay. What else we got? Okay, so that's kind of, I feel like we've done really well to find um, some more keywords. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find keywords that we think people will be using. Um, and we do have, they do have a wee bit of hammered. Um, we're going to talk about hammered because... Jewelry makers really want to talk about hammered. I see all the time hand hammered sterling, hand, you know, and it is a little bit of a style, but it isn't something that is incredibly searched for on Etsy. So um, they search more for the, the kind of ring than the or style of ring or the make, uh, the, what it's made of, so silver or whatever. Okay, so now this is fun. The reason why I like... Um, so Google is not commercial. It's just people doing searches. And uh, Pinterest got a little bit more commercial because most of the people that search Pinterest are looking for something to buy. But now we're on Amazon, and Amazon is commercial in the same way that Etsy is commercial, meaning that people are going there with their checkbooks open, credit card in hand to buy something, right? All right, a lot of talking here, a lot of talking. Okay, it's my llama. Lama. All right. Okay. So now let's look. So we got stackable rings. Does anything happen for women? Oh, we would have missed women. Women. And that's important. For baby sterling silver, rose gold, personalized gold, gold. So we need stackable rings for women. Let's see what happens here. And now over here, because, um, Amazon is doing it so much, um, we need to have all these things that they think it might be that are relevant, right? So we have jewelry. We already put that there. Um, novelty is not correct. So there's nothing really exciting there. Um, let's look around a little bit. Sometimes you get really good help and sometimes you get a whole bunch of nothing. Uh, Mother's Day gift. Let's talk about that. When I'm making this video, Mother's Day is coming up. So I don't think you could be, go wrong to go into all your jewelry listings, change all the, you know, holidays to Mother's Day. You can do it all at once. Um, now, gift. Gift is huge. It's so funny. I You just got to take my word for it because this video is going to be long and we don't want to make it longer. But I always call them presents and everybody who searches the internet calls them gifts. So um, you could maybe have present in there as like a total throwaway word if we're uh, running out. Um, but you're going to do much better with gift. Okay. And if you change this out and you take out Mother's Day gift and you put Christmas gift or whatever, make sure you leave gift in there. We have to have that in there as one of the items because people may be looking for a present for an October birthday or for somebody who likes boho or who likes the things we're going to find. All right, so now we got one more place to look, and this is fun. Etsy, right? So we're going to say rings and see what they say. Rings for women. We got rings for women. 
uh, ring sets set. Okay. Um, so let's start with rings for women, which is getting 40,000 hits a month. So it behooves us to have that exactly in our listing because that's a really aspirational keyword for us to rank for win rings for women that would be like whoa whoa the holy grail but why not try right we're not taking up so much room that we can't so now we're going to take this out of our little list down here because we're going to just copy and paste most of this into our tags right um, and then use the extra room for other things. So rings for women. I don't know if it's going to stay this close to the front, right? Um, we have all kinds of other things that, that we could actually maybe rank for before we get to rings for women. But why not try rings for women? Okay, so now we have gold rings for women, silver rings for women, opal rings for women, vintage rings for women. So let's go with silver rings for women. And we're going to do that same thing where we walk down those little um things sterling silver rings for women okay we don't have sterling silver in here yet so that would go before rings for women but that's a thing so we could just leave it right like that so sterling silver rings for women and we are matching that exact one now i keep seeing okay i just hold on i just seen hammered okay there's hammered silver rings. So we can put it in the title, but it's not, um, it's not way up front. Look how far down it was. That's more of an adjective than it is a thing that people are looking for at the start. So now let's do silver sterling, sterling silver rings for women. Okay. And what do we got? Rockin' out jewelry, unique gift. That is kind of unique. Um, okay, so anything jumping, not adjustable, sterling silver ring, dainty. It's not dainty. I don't feel like it's dainty. I love the ring that Amanda made solid sterling 925 so if it's 925 we probably should let's see if it's in here uh silver i don't know if it's 925 if it is i know people like me that don't know much about making jewelry um we look up 925 because they tell us that in mexico right um okay so that's not that Let's go back and we're going to do one last search in Etsy before we really get down to um, sifting through things. So we're going to say stack. Okay, stacking rings is 12. Oh, it's still the same. Stacking rings. So uh, Etsy kind of says stacking rings is the best one. So uh, let's put that up here. Stacking ring okay so now we have tourmaline stackable ring set stacking ring right there right handmade jewelry sterling silver rings for women hammered we got 33 things left so we're gonna we're, we're still working it okay stacking ring set we're gonna fix this so we're gonna put this set because stacking set goes with stacking ring. So we're literally putting exactly what they say for Etsy second, and we're putting the Google first. Now we could flip that, um, and, and I would want to check in your stats later to see if switching those. Um, those are really um, stackable birthstone rings is a good one. I'm just putting it down here. You may be thinking, oh, you should go put it up in the top. No, no, I'm going to show you why. Okay, stackable birthstone rings, spinner rings, hammered sterling. There's hammered, I love the hammered silver sterling. Okay, I burst, so I want to look at birthstone rings because we're kind of in just plain ones. Okay, so these are, we're getting closer, right? Like, these are very, very dainty. There we go. 
Z Studio, three mothers. So there's mothers, right? Um, that's more of a customized one. It's not as, be like the, obviously the gems are not as good as what we have, but mothers is a thing. Um, all right. All right. So, so if you were doing this um, to this point, you could just put together your, um, put the rest of these. So we have other keywords we could use, right? Um, so we have, I do think it's boho. We could look up beachy. I want to see what happens with that. Um, because to me, rather than beachy, because she has beachy in here, sea glass, Sea glass colored. So to me, this feels more like um, blue green, right? So I would rather have up here, uh, if I can fit it, blue green. Still got beaches riding. She's still making it, not yet, you know, anything else that I'm missing, 6.75. Now, the size is kind of important, so we got to get that sucker in there. 6.75, and we have six left. Anything that we can do? Color doesn't do anything for us. Okay. All right, so now I want to, before we move on to like the details of how to do this, I want to explain why I really, um, why she's missing space in her title. So she has tourmaline once, um, not too bad, only once. So now she has stacking one, once, good. Ring, so she has ring once. But then we get to stackable. So she has stackable twice. And she has rings one, two, three times. So you don't get any benefit. Um, it used to be that if you had stackable rings, stackable rings, stackable rings, stackable rings, you would get more value in Etsy search um, then you would. Now it doesn't work that way. Now what Etsy's doing is it's acting more like Google. It's taking the first few words, which we want to have that be super strong. And then it's taking and pulling all different kinds of places from the, um, from the different parts of your title and tag. So we don't have to keep repeating those words over and over and over again, we do better if we have a variety of different words. Okay, so let's make sure we have all our words. We have stacking ring, stackable rings, stacking ring set went together, handmade jewelry, that's for that's for Google, right? Because handmade would be in the attributes, but we wanna have it there. Sterling silver rings for women is our aspirational one. Hammered boho, blue, green, beachy, beachy stayed, and we have room for one more. We don't have gemstone. Beachy, you're out. Gemstone. Okay. So this is going to be our title. We have four characters. It's hard to get much closer than that. Okay, so we have four characters left. And now what I do is, I copy this exactly, because there is still a wee little value to Etsy. They're kind of um, not as sophisticated as... Um, Google is yet, but if you can get these sort of in the same-ish order, they give it a tiny bit more weight. So let's just add, so now we have stacking, tourmaline, tourmaline, I'm going to put rings, and then stackable rings, ring, and then stackable rings, oh, I got too many, got too many, okay. So now we have, I got to move out of the way again, sorry. Okay, sterling rings, and then I'm going to make rings for women because that's our big rings for women. Oh, we can't have sterling silver rings. Darn it. Sterling silver. So it works. Sterling silver rings for women. 
green, and we already had blue somewhere hanging out here. Hammer, boho, blue. Um, I think having size, right? Because people might do a size. Uh, so we have that. Oh, it doesn't like... I'm going to say size 6, 7, because that 6.75 means that if you are a 7, you might be able to squeeze down into it. If you're a 6, it's going to be a little big. But darn it, we can't do really much anything about that. Okay, so now we have four left. So number one, the very first other thing you should do is you should put your shop name in there because uh, Etsy is not good at um, figuring out who you, what your shop is. So we're going to say Angel Alchemy is one of them, which leaves us three. Um, if your name is searched a lot, like Tara Jacobson is searched a lot, Sometimes I will put my name instead of my shop name just to mix things up, keep it, keep it happy. Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of room for some of these other ones. And I, I'm just going to, you're going to have to trust me on the fact that they're up here. So we have um, October Burst Stone. Oh... Okay, so if it was my listing, I would do one that was just for October birthstone. Um, but we're going to make sure we get this one in here. So this is why I always keep that little list over here. October birthstone. We have stone. Let's see how much room we have. Fashion. Gypsy, do we have unique? We do not have unique. Can we squeeze unique? Will it, will it give us unique? Yay, okay. I was a little shocked by that. Gemstone sets, hammered. Mother's Day gift. And then I'm gonna say gifts for women. Oh, all 13 were used. Okay, so so I would do searches and find out, like, if size 6, 7, honestly, I don't think it's helping us because it's in the attributes for Etsy and it wouldn't show up, um, tags don't show up in Google searches, right? Because I really want to say gifts for her. Uh, and for a number of reasons. Number one, a lot of times um, Etsy's editors will do uh, newsletter things that are gifts for her and also um, people search that way right so now we have this is awesome she should be able to rank really really well for this so the next thing I would do is I would go over to Marmalade if that's all you can do you're doing great right um, I use a site called Marmalade what they do is um, they have all the data. For, they use data from Marmalade to tell us how many searches have been done that month for each um, item and which, uh, which terms work better. So this would be the way that I would do it if I was just going by guessing. And I could do really well and I could not do really well. Okay, so stackable rings, there are 900 to 950 and then the engagement is 2,000 to 3,000. The reason this is nice is it means for every search that's done, two to three listings are looked at, right? So that's excellent. All right, so these are, see, this guy I think feels like ours. I kind of want to get into that and this is not our price range, right? Um, so that isn't really, but let's take a peek and see if we see any things. Stacking rings, stacking, stacking rings, stacking rings, gold rings, stackable rings, sterling silver, dainty, minimalist, no, personalized. Okay, so this isn't helping. As, uh, as far as data goes, it's great, but um, so we want stackable gemstone rings. Okay. Because that's the highest level that we can search that will get us close to it, right? We could do stackable tourmaline rings, but our search volume and our um, competition and stuff sometimes gets so low that it, um, it just becomes weird. Okay, so stackable gemstone rings, there's a lot of competition, there aren't that many searches per month, which is fine. 
when you're getting down into these super competitive words, you're going to um, find searches that have 0 to 50. We know that that's, so stackable gemstone rings. So Google, like that's the whole World Wide Web is only 390. So the fact that we only have a few in um, Etsy makes sense. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to rank for stackable gemstone rings and gypsy gemstone rings and hammered gemstone rings. And so when we have all those things together where Etsy can pull these little bits and parts of it, we can see that we're going to do better. Okay. I kind of like it. Oh, I'm in the way again. Okay, so now we have birthstone ring. I think birthstone ring is going to be a big one. And she already had it, so she was doing great. We're not telling Amanda anything she didn't know. We're telling you. Okay, silver ring, sil sterling silver, stacking rings. Let's see if we get anything exciting. Stack rings. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Jeez, so I would actually change out one of these dorky ones I have. Jeez, Louise, I never would have gotten that one. I love that. That's so relevant. The reason why I like it is it's so relevant. Where some of these we're getting fashion gypsy unique. Um, I'm going to keep gypsy unique and stack. And if I could type, I would be, oh, I'm up in, nope, there we go, one to go. Okay, so that's excellent. So um, what Marmalee does with this is they take all of the listings that they searched 100, I think it's 100, they searched 100, you could search, um, I think 500 the most, so we would get even more data. Um, but I'm just trying to find this and then this is great. It'll show you they're all in the jewelry ring category The material is sterling silver. Um, you can get lots of great data and I will put um, I Will put a link to a really good video where I just show how to use marmalade But now we're doing this so for me the very next thing I want to do is I want to do some searches with Etsy data remember we were talking about how Google data was just normal people and then um, then we had Pinterest that was a little bit more by Z commercial and then Amazon was super commercial. Well, this is Etsy specific data, um, which we can't get anywhere else. So those are all searches I've done. Um, okay. So we're doing stacking rings, stack a bull rings. Stacking ring set. Stackable ring set. So now we're just finessing those five or six words and figuring out what's going to be best in Google. And I feel like I see a clear winner. Are you thinking about it? I don't feel like you're thinking about it. So, Google said that it was stackable rings, but using data from actual people, stacking rings. Okay, so, using actual data from Marmalade, this is tremendously better, right? So there's 3,000 searches a month for that, 900. Um, stacking ring set, stacking ring set, stacking ring set. Okay, so let's do stacking rings set and see what it says. Rings set. So you would have been fine. If you're not using Marmalade, I'll put a link to Marmalade below. Um, if you're not using Marmalade, then you're you're going to be okay. It's just with this, you can really finesse it and get get those in the right order, which is probably what Amanda did. She's you know she's good at research. I've shown her how to do SEO. So proud of her. She did a great job. Um, okay, so our um, stacking 
ring set. So then I would come up here. I'll leave my tags alone because it's not really hurting anything. But I would say, what was it? Stacking ring set is better. So we're going to say stacking ring set. And then just move our comma over to make it stackable rings, right? And I would actually go through, okay, so let's look up hammered. I always think of being a little toasted with a cocktail. Um, so hammered ring, hammered jewelry. Hammered silver, hammered silver. All right, snake game, snake game. All right, so we're getting ready to leave uh, Amanda, but this is Angel Alchemy. I'll put a link to her shop in the bottom. Thank you for letting us use your listing. And like, a, oh, here we go. Hammered silver. Okay, so this, ooh, look at this. Hammered ring is really good. Hammered jewelry, nobody really searches for. Few people. Not hurting it, um, but the, these aren't search volumes like hammered ring. Let's do stackable. Uh, let's do silver ring, right? So it looks good, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't use it. I'm just saying that jewelry makers, oftentimes I see they have hammered silver ring as their first. We saw that on the one listing. They were like, it's a hammered silver ring. You should love it, um, but it it you know, it's not a thing in the real world. All right. So there you go. Silver ring. So 600 to 5,000. So we're going to do one more little quickie. I'm not going to write out all the things, um, for this listing, but let's go ahead and take a peek and see how we would do this with say a necklace. And the other thing that I wanted to do, so those rings were very marketable, right? They were, silver jewelry they were beautiful colors they're a birthstone they had lots of stuff going for them but i really wanted to also do something for um a product that was a little different unique i get like oh i sell one of a kind jewelry nobody knows how to how to uh get my stuff and this caught my eye from karen tyler designs I think her name is Karen, but let's check. Her name is Karen. Yay. Okay. So what about this it, can we look at? And we're going to take these, these, start over, and we're going to say, I, okay. So this is a, to me, long pendant necklace. Okay, so we're going to the very top of what it is. It is a long pendant necklace, right? So let's go, um, I'll get you. Long pendant necklace. Okay. And I think I did this on Marmalade the other day when I was doing a different video for a client. So necklace. I'm trying to keep it under an hour, people. I knew this one would be long. Sorry. I'll pause this for a sec. All right, so it's not this one. One of them that I was doing might have been rings or it was something in jewelry that was super fun. And like the short version got less searches than the long one. So in this case, people do look for necklaces, but, but the chance of ranking for necklaces or ranking for pendant necklaces, I feel like I would definitely go with pendant necklace. Okay, so I'm I'm not getting layering being the second <laughs> word in this. I'm not sure why layering necklace. Um, so so Karen is in my group, so she follows things. So let's see why she's doing this. So let's let's take a peek and see if layering necklace is has a really um, a really high search volume. 
And I just always check everything, you guys. I'm not checking every word for you, but a lot of times I will go through and just, because I'll open up three marmalades, and I will just, you know, bam, 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 search, 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 come back, see what the numbers say, because it's so easy and fast to do. And especially when you're selling something, uh, more so with the tourmaline rings where she has multiples that she can sell, it's worth doing it. But I know Karen has a couple of uh, these necklaces in here. So we'll get back to that. It's just my whole computer is running slow, not marmalade. <laughs> um, okay, so we're saying long pendant. And she doesn't have necklace till over here. But I'm very proud of her. She doesn't have millions of necklaces in there. Okay, so, but I would start with long pendant necklace. And then I would do, and I've, I'm cheating, right? So magnifying glass. Necklace gets a thousand searches a month. I don't know what 10x. Oh, 10x. It must be the magnification. But if you add all these up, you're getting eh, 1,200 searches a month. Urban Outfitters has one um, on Amazon, UK, Etsy. So um, magnifying glass necklace is a thing, and that is what that is. So I don't like to repeat, but I will do the plural. So my very next one would be magnifying glass necklaces, right? And then I'm, I'm good. Now I have what it factually is. It's a long pendant necklace. It's a magnifying glass necklace. But let's see if we can find some things in here that we would do. Okay. So this is vintage. I could, I would say, I know, I, I know this isn't a vintage one. I would in the tags, not, maybe not in the title, but I would say vintage inspired because that to me is, has that, I sell vintage. That has a, like the girls who are looking for vintage um, may find that. And, or if you're doing a gift for a friend and you're like, oh, I was going to get her a vintage one, but this just looks more like her style. Um, you want to think about how the person who is shopping is thinking about what you're buying. So um, sterling silver, Amazon, 1928, what is that? Okay, we don't know. Oh, so we need for women, of course, right? For women. Okay, then we are gonna make sure that she has all of the things that people are looking for. So unique, and I would make this gifts for women. So then I have gifts and I have for women. Um, but I would say unique, rare, um, one of a kind, handmade, right? Um, now, I know she's not hand hammering all the things like the like uh, Amanda was doing, but this is definitely a handmade item. She put all these things together and obviously in a very unique way. This is very cool. Um, okay, so, so now we have a whole bunch, so those would go in either your title or your tags, depending on how much room that you could do. Um, we also need to put what it is, so it's gold, it's, it's actually antique gold is the color, so with antique gold, you would get antique gold and gold, easy for me to say. Okay, so I also like that vertigray, vertigree. That's something I look for. Um, you would spell it right. Uh, I think this is lacy, um, delicate, uh, ornate, right? So all those things are also things that you could look at. You would want to try to do those. Um, the other thing is, let's talk about the butterfly in the room. It is a butterfly, right? Butterfly pendant. Um, I, I just love this, uh, silver. So it's a silver chain. So we've got all these things like this one. I mean, I know that as a one of a kind piece, you're, uh, frustrated cause you're like, I cannot come up with anything to describe it. It's a butterfly magnifying glass necklace. But for me, that really gets my wheels turning and like, what, what is it and who could it be for? Okay. Let's talk about who it could be for. So 
librarians, right? So you could say gift for librarian or a teacher. Um, anybody who's having to, to do that, a uh, grandmother gift, right? Grandmothers would love that because they would have it hanging on their neck and instead of, you know, like having to go, I'm 51 years old, I could use a magnifying glass necklace. As you get older, it does that. So, so really just as you're selling one of a kind pieces, you want to get what it functionally is first, right? Like exactly what it is in case somebody's looking for that. Then you want to go with, you know, what is it kind of made of and what are the colors it is? So antique gold, verdigray, silver, brass, you know, whatever. That, that may even be like a little bit of copper. Um, make sure you get those in there. Then, um, you know, kind of any of the unique, rare, one-of-a-kind handmade that the people are going to be looking for. And then, uh, like, who's it a gift for? It's a gift for women, of course. You know, that's an aspirational one. But if we have room, I would definitely put it, but it's also a gift for, great gift for a grandmother, a librarian, or a teacher. So hopefully for you gals that are doing jewelry that are one of a kind, this will help too. So if you like this video and you would like to see more Etsy videos, I do publish about one Etsy video, marketing video a week. Go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you like this video, it helps so much if you click the like button. That helps other Etsy sellers know that, um, that it was a good video. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.